Right, we've got Dan Lincoln with us, the, not the new goal. How long have you been here now, mate? Oh, six weeks, maybe. Six weeks, getting golf for Dorking Wanderers. How are you finding it? Really enjoying it, really enjoying it. Lads are great, um, facilities are fantastic. Obviously, Mark's great as well. Um, Ten straight wins in a row is always helpful, isn't it? It makes life a little bit easier. So sure. another, it. another clean sheet. Yeah, there's a couple in a row now. Probably yeah. should have been a few more. Like, I think the lads would have would have enjoyed another few. I think uh, about four you've got now. Yeah, something close like to that. that. Something like yeah. So uh, you come from Farnborough, like, didn't you? I played you a game for Farnborough, yeah. Um, I was actually coming back from Dubai. I had a competition out there for 10, 12 days playing cricket. And then um, played a game for Spencer Day at Farnborough. And then I got a call from Mark saying, look, what are you up to? I said, not a lot, and got myself in. So you weren't playing football at all then, really? I hadn't played football since, what was it, December? Probably 13, 14 months. I hadn't played really? at all. No, no, no. Not wow. So, and how are you finding it, Danny? Like the way they play football, talking wonders. Um, it's totally different and alien to, not alien, but for non league football, isn't it? You know yeah, I'm, it's like, I'm very familiar with this, which is a godsend. Um, obviously, playing at Bogner, played very, very similar to this. Growing up at Reading, um, all through the system, up until. 21s we played like this week in week out sure um, which has stood me in good stead I enjoy doing it let the lads crack on put them under a bit of pressure how old are you 26 oh so you're only young yeah plenty still of young. time yet, mate so so how do you get on with your uh, cricket and football how, do you have to stop at a certain time because you're a professional cricketer aren't you yes for yeah. Surrey um, so I was at Middlesex and Kent last year. I'm a Kent fan. Well, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so do you have to stop like when the season starts in April? Do you have to stop? Um, we tend to balance it. I've done it a couple of times a few years back. We just balance it as best as possible. Sure. Um, and they understand, obviously. The yeah, clubs. it's very understanding. Very understanding. Um, it helps me play both ways really like playing cricket helps football well. yeah football helps the cricket so it's definitely helped my game um, when I was a bit younger it probably hindered because I was playing football and yeah. I was desperate to play cricket I was playing cricket desperate to play football but as I've learned to juggle it it's, it's become quite easy it takes a good manager or um, a good relationship to be able to make it work and so I've managed to do it for a number of years and your throw you know because we were saying before on air before we got you on it's easy to throw a little ball because like yeah. when you've got a big ball, you can't throw it in one hand. So yeah, it's, it's, how, you, how do you find that? It's obviously different, no doubt. Um, well, obviously with cricket, you've got to be accurate when you throw it. Um, so I get no points for throwing it far. Um, but in this, if I can try and find Briggsy or Alfie up front, like, we get a good relationship, then we can use it a little bit more. But it's something I've always had, I've always done, been blessed with it. Um, Superb. So it saves me kicking it, just throw it instead. Yeah, yeah that throwing's better than you kicking, isn't it? Oh, it's kind of you to say that. <laughs> But uh, I think you even assisted one goal as well. You threw it down the middle and... Uh... Yeah, we got one. We should have had a couple. I keep getting on to Alfie about tucking them away. Um, but <laughs> we're doing all right. We're doing all right Good. Now. And where, what, this, you full-time? You, would you do anything else? Uh, buy the football and the cricket? Um, got I've got my own coaching company. Um, For football and cricket. Okay. Um, so I run that in at schools a little bit. A lot of one-to-ones, a few clubs. Um, nice. So that is very much the long-term goal. But I keep that kind of on the side at the minute. Whilst I can run around kickable catchable that's I'll be doing that for as long as possible and I've got a good platform for when I finish definitely where, and where you live where do you live are you local yeah not from here so I'm kind of Bracknell Reading way yeah, so no, kind yeah. of in between there so it's about an hour down here so not too bad as the crow flies it's not the end of the world to travel an hour for football like, is, is absolutely fine yes and even the manager I saw last Saturday Sunday even said Dan's doing doing a good job which is he don't say that about keeping many <laughs> yeah, people, he mentioned, I tell you, mate. he mentioned so touch with as long as it continue yeah. um, as long as we're picking up points and getting wins it doesn't overly matter who's playing or who's playing not as long as we're moving in the right direction as a squad that's all that matters well well done nice to have a chat with you because I haven't really had a chat with you since you arrived so uh, good to see you again mate and uh, we'll keep the good performance going yeah ta, thanks Gary cheers buddy all the best